so I got this road to my studio, and this is what it sounded like <laughs> when I first turned it on. As you can see, it's kind of works a little bit occasionally, but then it goes back out, it's very distorted. Uh, kind of plays pretty shitty, so I got to kind of first start off working on this preamp. So the first thing I'm going to do with this preamp is just remove all these horrible lavender capacitors, which are the bane of my existence every time I see these lavender caps. I want to destroy them with a hammer and rid the world of their evil. And the next, I, I noticed the op amps were these kind of shitty old 1970s 45, 58s. And I thought, yeah, we can do a lot better with some like modern op amps. So I socketed all the op amps in the audio bath and tried some TLO 72s and they sounded clean, extremely clean, super gorgeous. I don't know why people don't talk about this more, but I'm basically never going to restore roads without changing out these op amps just for like modern ones with lower noise floor. Next was I replaced the pot, the main volume pot. I didn't have an exact replica of the one that I added in. The pot shaft is a little thicker, so I put this weird little different kind of knob on there, but I think it kind of looks cool. And then the grommets. Yes, this is super important, but these stupid fucking grommets and screws make such a huge difference in how your roads plays. The ones from the 70s that it comes with get hard and it chokes off all the nice harmonics that you want from the vibrating time. So you just gotta go in there, it takes a long fucking time, but you pull out all the old grommets, put some new ones in, place the screws while you're at it, because my fucking lineup looks great. You know, they're nice and shiny, or something like that. And now the results. like these TLO2 op amps, they're very clean, um, just that great classic clean Rhodes DI sound. I think if you want the real bark, go with the Whirly. I think the Rhodes is all about this super, super clean, pristine, gorgeous DI sound. And yeah, after a little work, you can nail it. It's not that hard. Well, it is kind of a bitch, honestly, but <laughs> it's worth it. At least I think so.